In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove all the duplicate tracks on your computer. Let's get into it. What's going on people? I go by the name of DJ CB and on this channel we help bedroom DJ transition over to a club DJ. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. As a DJ that's probably been DJing for about two, three years now, you realize now that you've built a massive music library and in that music library, you probably have a lot of duplicates. Then what happens is you forget to delete the duplicates, your library gets bigger and then you get to a point where you don't even know where your duplicates are. I have found a way where you can group all your tracks in one single place and go through them all and delete the duplicates. This solution is only available on MacBooks, Windows users, I'm very sorry. If you have a look at the computer right now, I'm hoping that you have a centralized location for all your music. I'm hoping that on your desktop you have a folder called music and then inside there you have all your folders like this one here where you've got hip hop, R&B, UK music, etc. When you're inside that folder, you want to come to the top up here, press file and press new smart folder. At the moment it's set to this Mac. If you change it over to this folder here, which is gonna be the folder you were just in, your music folder, what you can do is press the plus button here, keep this as kind, change this one to music, and then if you change this one to mp3 which i'm assuming that all your tracks are going to be mp3 change this to mp3 what it will do it will bring up all your tracks across all the folders so if i click this first one here at the bottom you're going to see that it's in the music folder then in the r&b folder if i click this one you can see that's in the hip-hop folder and then if you click, click this one you can see it's in the uk music folder then what you can do is slowly go through each one and delete the track that you feel like you don't need there's not a solution to batch delete these and i feel that's a good thing because you don't want to go and batch delete something and then accidentally delete something so what I feel like you should do is just go through this list nice and slowly go through and then just delete the two ones that you probably don't need so I can remove that I can remove these I can go down I can remove them too, I can remove them too, etc. If you have a look in your bin, you can see all the deleted tracks there. Then what you can do is just empty the bin and then all them tracks will be removed from your computer and then you'll free up some space. This is just a quick solution for DJs to free up some space on their laptop to make more space for new music. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. If you want six months at 25% off on Mixcloud Pro, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description that link will take you to a checkout which will apply the 25% discount straight away also if you need some sound effects I said a sound effects pack on Fiverr for five pounds this gives you 158 sound effects including some of your favorite glass smashes and sirens don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DJC underscore B I post there regularly also make sure you're checking the links down in the description there's plenty of useful stuff in there like what's in my DJ crates and a bunch of other information that can help you as a DJ with that being said I go by the name of DJ CB and we're out